Hey, I am Brother Mark Mary. I'm Brother Pierre Toussaint. We are the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Essential Presents. So Brother PT and I are both basketball players. Ballers. I remember as a kid, when I had a new pair of basketball sneakers, I was going to play a game. I wouldn't even wear them into the gym. I would carry them in and not put them in until I was on the gym floor because I wanted to take care of them. I wanted a nice sticky grip. And I need the basketball shoes for my, for my ankles, right, for support. And the same is true still as Franciscan Friars of Renewal. When we're playing basketball, getting a little exercise, taking care of ourselves, we don't want to get hurt. And we don't have much stuff. And so if we lose a pair of basketball sneakers or something like that, we got to wait and pray until somebody else provides us with a new pair of basketball sneakers. So this takes place about eight or nine years ago. I was in the novitiate, which is basically the beginning time of our life. And as Brother Mark Mary previously mentioned, I had just gotten these fresh pair of basketball sneakers and I was super excited. I think I used them only once or twice. But anyway, I'm in the novitiate and the doorbell rings. And so I go down to answer the door. And sure enough, there is my man Jimmy there. And Jimmy is just a homeless man who, in the neighborhood. I've come to know him throughout the past couple of months. I say, hey Jimmy, what's going on? He says, not much, brother. And I ask him, what can I help you with? And Jimmy says very simply, I need a new pair of sneakers, brother. I was hoping he had said I needed a sandwich or I needed some food because that doesn't cost too much for me to do just to make a sandwich and just to give it to him, be on your way, say a blessing and prayer or whatever it is. But he was asking for sneakers. I said, all right, cool, Jimmy. What size sneakers are you? And the reason I asked this question is because, um, yeah, not that many people are size 13s like I am. And he says, oh, brother, I'm a size 13. All right, that's cool. So I roll up upstairs and I know we have a closet full of sneakers. And so I was just on the off chance that we had a size 13 sneaker. I went through every single pair of sneakers in the closet. Sure enough, there's 12s, 12s and a half, 11s or whatever it is, no size 13s. Okay, Lord, I think I know what you're asking me to do here. And so I go into my room and I open my closet and there at the closet, the base of the closet are these fresh new basketball sneakers I've worn once or twice. And it's like, all right, here we go. So I brought them down to Jimmy. And sure enough, um, Jimmy looks at them. He goes, oh, these, these are nice sneakers. And like, I'm thinking, yeah, they are. <laughs> he says, can you help me put them on? I said, sure. And so looking at his feet, his feet were just, this is a mess. And so I took off his sneakers and I took off his socks and it was in a bad state. And so ran upstairs, got him a new pair of socks, came downstairs, cleaned off his feet with the hose and wiped it off with some towels, put the socks on, put the sneakers on, and sure enough, they fit perfectly like a glove. And, and Jimmy was super happy. Fast forward a, a couple of weeks later, and I'm walking the, the neighborhood with, with another brother, and sure enough, I see Jimmy, and he was like, yo, brother. I was like, hey, what's up, Jimmy? What's going on? And he goes, check it out. And he you know, flashes his, his uh, sneakers, and he was like, yo, they're comfortable. Thanks, bro. I was like, all right, cool, you know? And that kind of sparked a little just joy in me in the sense that, sure, Jimmy was still homeless. Jimmy had all these issues, but the little sacrifice in a sense that I made was helping him on his journey just for it to be a little bit more comfortable. And so I just simply praised God and, you know, I, allowed, I thanked him for allowing me the opportunity to, to participate in a small way that way um, in, his, in his suffering. And so. My brothers and sisters, I think a lot of us can relate. You've probably experienced this in your relationships, in your relationship with the Lord, that sometimes love costs something, but that's, that's love. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's worth the little sacrifices. We know that we have a Father who's not done in generosity and anything we give for love of Him, uh, it's gonna be rewarded, maybe not by like a bunch of more sneakers, right. but just sort of that peace and the comfort that our gift made the world a little bit of a better place. We invite you, take a moment, pray, look on your life. Like, is there something in your life that maybe you really like, but that the Lord's inviting you to sacrifice for somebody else who's in need? You can always use the comments below. Let us know what the Lord's saying. We want it to be a dialogue. We want to hear from you. Share your ideas with others. If we can get an amen that sometimes love costs, but it's worth the sacrifice, hit that like button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the stops along this journey, this pilgrimage we're making together, go ahead and subscribe. Remember, somos peregrinos, poco a poco, vamos a llegar, we're gonna make it. We'll see you again next week. God bless y'all. Peace.